Previously on Bobby's Perspective. So my name's Ed Winters. So my name's Ed Winters. Who is Ed Winters? It is an artificially created dangerous movement which has actors put into place to brainwash the masses and the most vulnerable ones. Our children. Edward God. He does not provide his home address, but an accountant's address. You will see that it has been set up as a private limited company, not as a charity or a non-profit company. If you position yourself as a public figure, especially one that receives thousands of pounds in donations, you have to be accountable and transparent. Since the first episode of the mysterious case of Earthling Ed hit YouTube, his team went really out of their way to cover all of their tracks. First, my subscribers reported that all of their comments on Ed Gaunt's channel were deleted. Then the bombshell hit. His team was forced to change their Wikipedia page. Who the mysterious editor is, we still do not know. The account was created hours after my video was released. The first edit on their page, you guessed it, was the official renaming from Ed Winters to Edward Gaunt. Further, they had no choice but to rephrase their alleged non-profit organization and give it a whole new definition. Non-profit ethos. Which means exactly absolutely nothing. What is the money used for? Before we uncover further mysteries, let's take a step back into the past. Here we see a very young earthling Ed with his brother and stepsister. No mistaking, it's him. He has a very distinctive hairline, eyebrows, certain facial ratios, distance between the eyes, ear position, mouth shape, those metrics do not change. We all hold a very unique facial expression in our eyes. Although now Edward has that vegan, empty, soulless look. What happened to little Edward Gaunt? How did he become Earthling Ed? My source dug deeper and found out that this guy does not even show up on the UK electoral roll, which means he has never registered to vote. To be so well known and leave no trace of your real identity takes some pretty meticulous planning. There is nothing to link him to his family disappeared from all family photos, all records. Again, the name Edward Gaunt was only to be found on company's house register before I unmasked his true identity. Still, he has not legally changed his name, which is why he had to submit his real name to company's house. He lives in London with his girlfriend Luna Woods. Who is this Luna Woods? How did they meet? Earthling Ed and Luna Woods are the co-founders of the London-based so-called Animal Rights organization search. Ed Winters has officially introduced Luna as his life partner. Who is this Luna Woods? How did they meet? Searching for Luna Woods is just as fruitful as searching for Ed Winters. No family history, no professional background, no university degrees, nothing 
given that they are both the co-founders of Search, could it be that they are tied in other business relations? Let's double check the company's house register. We started looking for Kirsty Adams, but we had no luck. But when we searched for Edward Gaunt and Lorna Nowood, Bingo! The Westminster University. So they both went to Westminster University and studied for what exactly? Edward Gaunt will mention in some of his videos that he went to university but never ever reveals which one or what he studied. Television, film and moving image. Now, why would they want to keep that a secret? Well, in case people realized that Ed's unscripted, casual street interviews that he is so well known for are actually very scripted, edited, produced and highly planned. If we scroll down to crew, you will see the first assistant director Edward Gaunt. Underneath script supervisor Lorna Note. Together they produced the film Mr. Duncan. If you search for Mr. Duncan 2015 on Facebook, you'll see their photos immediately. Curiously enough, they had their names removed from every single photo. Unfortunately, for her, she couldn't edit the page's text. Meet beautiful Lorna. Lorna is Luna. Edward Gaunt and Lorna Note deleted all their history prior to 2015, before Ed even launched his YouTube channel in 2016. They have gone to great lengths to avoid being photographed together. Both use false names, Ed has multiple donation platforms and merchandise too. This has been a very well planned operation, both of them removing and deleting previous social media pages. They have no donation page or business that is registered as charity. This is why they are forced now to use even more misleading terminology such as no profit ethos. Therefore, no accounts to see, no transparency. Does this look like they're doing it for the animals? Two skilled filmmakers pretending to be a grassroots campaign. Getting donations and full funding for every trip and tour. They fool the whole vegan community that he was just an ordinary guy interviewing people on the street. Those are probably the only two photos that you will ever find of Ed Winters and Luna Woods as they are never photographed together. They both changed their names and together they made the film documentary Land of Hope and Glory which was criticized by the RSPCA an animal welfare charity in the UK because they were so busy making the film wanting to be heroes that they didn't bother reporting the animal abuse to the RSPCA. First time the RSPCA knew about it was when the documentary was released and they were powerless to do anything about the historic abuse. Who films animal abuse and doesn't report it? Maybe two people who are in it for themselves.
Earthling Ads videos have had over 13.4 million views. Imagine the revenue from that alone. It actually states on the search website that he has done 71 talks in the last 12 months, including Howard, Brown, Colonel, Columbia, Yale, and Rutgers. Universities pay very well for guest speakers, yet they are still not a charity. Multiple donation platforms, merchandise, sponsors, but two people using false names that have never shown any accounts. They both leave the university in 2015, both with a degree in TV and film production. Both start using false names way before Ed is well known. In 2016, Ed's street interviews start appearing on YouTube. He looks like a penniless hippie doing it for the love of the animals. But they are scripted, edited and produced to look that way. His girlfriend never ever appeared in a single video. She stays hidden whilst one of them had to front the scam. When you ask for donations for animal activism, those donations are not your money. That's why charities register and are given a charity number. And so because we've done this for our whole lives, I don't know how old you are, I'm 24, but I was, went vegan at uh, 20. So up until that point, I'd always eaten these products. And so I could say, well, my brain is um, um, kind of naturally hardwired to do this. I'm 24, but I'm 24, but um, 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 um. The video that you just saw has been uploaded on the 3rd of June 2019. You heard Ed claiming he's 24. Look at the ease with which he lies. He's talking about ethics and morals whilst looking someone in the eye and blatantly lying about a pretty simple fact. His age. Why would he lie about his age? Well, it's very, very difficult to trace someone without the date of birth. Not the first time he has given a false age. He is an actor playing a role whilst his girlfriend films the videos and writes the scripts. Think about the sort of mentality needed to plan this in advance for two people to change their name, delete their history, use professional skills to make videos look like spontaneous street interviews, to post hundreds of photos on social media but never one with your girlfriend. What is their end goal? Thank you.